No, I haven't done one in a while. And I want to do it now so I don't forget. But that's why I look like a hot mess because I just got off work. And so, yeah. So, I just had pre opened this so I can open this or get this out easier. And then this is a Rebecca Minkoff like bag with Ipsy. And it's really cute, but I think it's like upside down. Nope, it's not. Uh, I don't know if you can see this in the back. It has like little pineapples in the front as well. So, and then it says Rebecca Minkoff in the front, and in the back it says for Ipsy. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up. And the first thing I see is a Ofra Universal Eyebrow Pencil in the shade it might be the shade universal because uh, i don't see anything else but the end looks like this brown and it looks like so and i will swatch it's so weird because i was just saying i wanted to try eyebrow pencil i have nothing in my eyebrows right now but i want to try an eyebrow pencil like besides just the normal what i normally use so this is the shade and it looks like it feels waxy, which I like, because I already... Right now, I use a wax and then a powder over for my eyebrows. So, I think this will work, because it feels like that wax consistency. And then, I like the how it blends out. You can't really see it, but if you apply, you will see. And I like it. That's the first thing in there. The second thing I see is Carlo, Carlo's Daughter, a Sacred Tiara. It says, proven to instantly stop shedding, shedding and frizz. It says, born in Brooklyn, made with love. A uh, styling cream. Copra, coconut oil, pro-vitamins B5, and more moringa. It says, uh, no parabens, no petroleum, no mineral oil, no artificial colors. Uh, this direction is applied to damp hair, then blow dry hair and follow with a full iron if desired. The product, this protective blow dry cream repairs as, okay, so you blow dry your hair, it's for when you blow dry your hair. I really don't smell anything. I don't smell anything. And it feels just like a cream. Yeah, okay. That's cool, cause as you can tell, I got for a rinse of hair. And then next is this Shimmer Eyeliner by Nick, Nick K, New York. And just a Shimmer Eyeliner in the shade Blue. So it looks like this. Um, on the screen is pouring, on uh, my phone is pouring, blah, blah, blah. on my phone it's coming out more of a blue, like a sky blue than, um, in front of me like a aqua teal blue but anyways so i'm gonna go ahead and open it up and the tip is a felt tip which i don't like but this color is amazing i don't know if you can tell and you can like pretty much do a good straight line with this brush it's like a mermaid blue which i love love to do like normal with black eyeliner and then go over the top with this that would be amazing so next oh my favorite is a nyx butter gloss in the shade eclair and i just absolutely love how these things smell so it looks amazeful so it kind of looks like the one i already have which is what is that thing called oh it's a dessert I can't think of what it's called. Oh, shoot. It's it's another one of these, but I can't think of what it's called. Oh, it smells so good. This is what this shade looks like. It's like a baby pink. It's amazing. And I already have like three or four of those, so I know that they're good. Oh, I'm to, down to the last thing, which is in this bag, and it says Real Tree Eau de Perfume. However you say it. Just opened it up. Okay, this is weird. And it says for her. Oh, it smells really good, like a strong scent. <laughs> that explains everything. Except for I don't like how it looks like it was spilling, or maybe it was just cause. Ooh, this is like one of those perfumes. 
that will last on you all day, but it's not, how do I explain this? Not flowery. I don't know. It smells good though. Okay, and this doesn't work. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Ooh, that smells strong. It smells like a perfume I've smelled before. Like Calvin Klein or something. I don't know. It smells good though. So that's the last thing, and I guess this bag was pretty in paradise. Which, there wasn't much for this bag. Maybe because they were all slim items, it looked like a little bit. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this month's Ipsy bag for June. And I'm just going to shove everything back in here. So I got four things. Oh, five things. I forgot that I brought a pencil. Five little things plus the bag for $10.81, which is not bad. Because I would probably spend like... 10 bucks on just the eyebrow pencil or something so that's cool and the bag is cute it's so like tropical i like it so that's the bag for june ipsy ipsy june my ipsy june bag so i'm gonna go do my reviews on these test them out uh so then i can go review them on the page and get my points so i hope you guys enjoyed this and keep watching i'm gonna have um what is it called in here just kidding i'm gonna go ahead and i don't know what i'm saying i don't know oh i'm gonna make a video for generation beauty la that i was at oh, it was amazing i got to meet nicole guerrero so it's judy's life judy time you know like personal like up close she was sitting in the chair next to me not in the chair next to me but like in front of me as i was watching her and her boyfriend or husband and yeah so i will <laughs> i will record that soon what i got from generation beauty um all of the goodies i got i only went for one day but i still got a lot of stuff so it was amazing um but i will talk about that more in that video <laughs> i just noticed my shower curtain is open awkward oh well it's a real life here mm -hmm. okay bye guys peace